Hi, uh, my name is Kanika. I'm really uh, deeply into spirituality. Uh, for me, uh, God is my entire life. And I'm blessed because I'm born in India and uh, here in our country, it is very natural and very easy to be able to walk into a peer or a shrine or a mandir or a gurudwara or a church anywhere you want you can go worship and it's it's something that's very inherent in uh, indians in bharat and uh, i uh, love to pray i have uh, written a book actually um can't seem to find it right now. I thought I had it here. I'll show it to you next time. But I have a book which I've kind of uh, created for prayers and blessings and thoughts on love. Um, though I have studied a lot on religion, I'm pretty much like, a, you know, overdosing. My, my cousins tease me and they say, you are like overdosing on spirituality. <laughs> and... Uh, I like to think that I'm totally in love with God and so yeah I've written a book I love to create music I um, love singing um, hoping to create a kind of a sacred music um, group and uh, for me it's my dream to sing in temples and um, today I'm going to share something really cool I just ordered this second this is the second time I got this from Amazon. It's the Holy Gita by Swami Chinmaya Nanda. And I've personally uh, really connected very well with this book. It's uh, Maybe it's just because of the commentary. I uh, adore it. And I have kind of, uh, you know, read the Gita earlier. But I've never really connected so much with it. And that's why I ordered this again from Amazon. It's a really cool um, buy. I think it's around, probably around 400 rupees, Indian rupees. And um, I thought I'll just kind of, you know, share something from it with you. I'll just open a page just randomly. As you can see, it's right here. And okay. So I've come to this beautiful line which says the ego, the ego which is ahankar uh, because of its long habit of living in close proximity to its own limitations. It's so beautiful. Finds it hard even to believe that there is an existence supreme, divine and infinite. I think it's just the way that Swami Chinmayananda has probably put the words here together. It's so beautiful. So the ego limits us. God, who is essentially love, who is the truth, who is peace, he expands us. We become more empowered with God. We become um, more um, powerful. Without God, we are powerless. So when we have love inside, we have truth, we have goodness, we have peace. Uh, what starts happening is we start expanding. Our power, the boundaries start breaking and they become infinite. There is no limitation to your power when you work with God. But when you get into the maya of ego, Yes, the line says the ego, because of its long habit, it's so habituated to living in its limitations. It's so sweetly written in its in the close proximity to its limitations. There's a limit of uh, with the ego because of Maya. It's like Maya will limit you, but when you're unlimited, this you can do anything. Like I feel with God, anything is possible. That's beautiful because it's like you have one life in this body. And that's like the highest way to live, to be able to do beautiful stuff, to live your full potential. Like for example, sometimes I tell my students that if you have a Windows 
5 or a Windows 6 or a Windows 7. It You can't always stay limited to a Windows 6, 7, you know. It will keep upgrading. We have to keep improving. We have to keep, like, becoming a better version every single day. So now I think probably there's Windows 10 in the market right now. So it keeps upgrading. It keeps becoming better, more improved, right? But the ego will get you stuck. It will keep you, like, it will degrade you. So, and it'll make it very hard. Sorry, there was something like probably like I got a message or something. But yeah, the ego will make it very difficult for you to believe that there is a supreme power. It actually is there. And God doesn't reveal himself to people who don't believe because of Maya. They're stuck in the ego or, you know, all these limitations. But God essentially makes you liberated. It is so awesome. Okay? And you can't believe in the divine and you cannot believe in infinity, which is God. God is infinite. You can't believe in it if you have an ego. So uh, with just that, I'll, uh, I'll that's my little... Um, uh, you know, message for today, and I love this book, and especially because it's written by Swami Chinmayananda. I love the whole concept of illusion. I am blessed because I've been able to really deeply understand and live this concept, and that's how I got Yogmaya Gyan. And I kind of, I was called Maya as an artist, and now I'm called Yogmaya, and I love it. God has been so good to me. So I say namaste, and I'll see you soon. I hope you enjoyed this short video. <laughs> Bye.